All right. I'm pretty sure chapter three is the last one, but I just wanted to point this out because I didn't notice. It caught my eye. Look at this. The Ballad of a Gay Ghost. I don't know if that's like a DLC thing or or something. Just stuck out to me, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, and I'm going to be evicted. Whatever. I'm going to work. I don't need to read this crap. I've already done that. Uh, December 26. Ah, post-Christmas. <sighs> that's actually odd, too. It's pretty good. Mm. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Ah, oh, crap. I'm still going. I'm sorry. Oh. It's been a long day. I, I do have coffee with me, though. I always have coffee with me. I should always have coffee with me. Oh, -ho. all right. Let's see here. Um, get my bearings again. Right. Good evening. TV can't be off. Got to keep things cool. Got to keep them. Yeah, sure. We'll leave you on. Whatever. Well, hey, Jill, let's get back and sorting and green shipment. I got things to do. Dogs in charge. Okay, bye. <laughs> that was quick. It was abrupt. It was brisk. Wait, the dog? <laughs> okay, first order, pet me. <laughs> no. Pet me. No. I am in charge, and I want you to pet me. I'm going to fix up the jukebox instead. Um... Troubling news, and for number three, uh, good health. Yeah, sure. Aha! Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Jay! Won't pet you. You'll pet me sooner or later. They all do. That's ominous. That's like, oh, you'll break eventually, and when you do, I will be there, waiting to be touched on the head. Won't. Will. You called? He said Will, not Gil. Ah. Yeah, who the hell is Will? Nobody. Don't be rude with poor Will. There's no Will. Do you need me to psych you up then? Shut up. Who, me or Will? Oh my god, who's on first? We going that route? What's on second? I don't know who's on third. Tomorrow's pitching, today is catching. I can do this all day. Just uh, go back to whatever you were doing. All right. <laughs> and you stand by. Ooh, where's the jukebox? Um, move on to who was I? No, that's way too weird. Yeah, nope. Drive me wild? No. Will you remember me? I think that's actually like the sound during breaks. Yeah. Nighttime maneuvers? Sure. Only if you pet me. Go. Who will come in today? I can't wait. The fuck just happened? Well, aren't we spirited today? Welcome to Var... Vir Virgilio? Why do you sound so weirded out? And it was only just pointed out to me that that's Jim Sterling, or at least based on one of his characters. That's awesome and I see it now, but I had no idea. You didn't show up with a bombastic soliloquy. Well, what an act could be trying, you know. So it's all an act then? Wasn't it obvious? Am I doing the wrong voice for you in that case? I mean, I guess. Would you mind getting me a bleeding chain? Yeah, sure. It's odd the man's not being his usual regalio self. Wow. And he's getting a non-alcoholic beverage. No, god damn it, I only wanted one. I need three of these things. Although, you know what? We'll give you a big old bleeding Jane. Yes, sir. Only the best for my wonderfully delightful customer, Virgilio. Uh, blended, right? It means I gotta let it go for a little while. All right, hold up here. Da 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 da. Come on. There we go. Okay, bleeding Jane. Big one. A bleeding Jane. This, this is just the thing. So, tired of putting on the act? Care to explain? It's a long story. I'd honestly rather not talk about it right now. Well, I would rather you did. My shift is long and boring. The night is dark and full of nothing. So, I mean, the sooner it passes, the better. Talk. Dish. Come on. Fair enough. What made you change your mind, though? Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The Pulpers Buffoon Act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. Safer? There's a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait. That was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yes. <laughs> I mean, uh, no, no, that, that, that is a critical fail. I don't see how that helped in any way. 
but but enlighten me, Virgil. You tell me, tell me how that managed to allow you to avoid arousing suspicion, especially with that question mark in the middle of your face. You do know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird. You try not to raise suspicion, but you act in a bombastic manner that screams you're there. And everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. Eh? I mean, you might be right if I were talking about hiding myself, but I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention, but then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. And depending on how erratic my actions are, I become harder to read. Giving me yet another layer of enigma. I... Huh. Well, congrats. I mean, no offense, but I fell right in your plan. I just dismissed your actions as those of a fool and moved on. You completely fooled me. Well, thanks. Say, can you give me something spicy? Yeah, sure. Something spicy. Something spicy. Um... Oh, hey, spicy drinks. I mean, I could just give him another bleeding chain, but I mean... Eh. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, I want to find one that had optional. It is my endeavor to get every customer blitzed. Yeah, but I guess a bloom light will be fine. Ah, we'll give you a big old bloom light. Uh, two powder deltas for you. And six on the rocks and aged. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, ha! And pow. Oh God, it hurt. <laughs> it was so horrible. I guess I didn't put enough of anything in there. Okay, try that again. Uh, two of you, four of you. Hold up now. Hold on now, we're gonna get this right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mix. Bam! Yeah, there's the bloom light. Kablamo! Here you go! Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? No, actually, it turns me off pretty quickly, but I mean, what's your what's what's your angle? What's spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. I mean, fair. I've never asked a lion what he thought of, uh, you know, I don't know, ginger or, uh, or cinnamon. Is ginger spicy? Well, I guess it can be. Cinnamon definitely can be. I don't know. I don't like my spices too much. I like my, my, my sweet and my, my, my tangies, I guess. Is that a word for a certain kind of flavors? Spice-esque word things? Ignore me! Hell, what's toxic for us might not be for other creatures. That's very true. I mean, flies eat crap, so there you go. Do you like spicy things, bartender? I do not. I don't mind them, I guess, but I'm not really a fan. Yeah, what Jill said. Exactly what Jill said. That neutral sense is actually weird to come across. It is? Everyone either loves spicy things or hates them with a passion. I mean, I'll admit, like, Thai food is not my favorite. And I don't go out of my way to find Indian food. Am I going to turn my nose up at it? I'll give it a shot. No. Yeah. Huh, I didn't think I was in the minority there. I thought that was pretty average. Do you like it? Lots, not only in regards to painfully spicy things, but also the way mild or slight spices add to a meal. I actually know somebody who would eat the spiciest damn wings you could find anywhere just because it gave him like a bit of a rush. It was, I think he described it as euphoric, but yeah, he was eating partly for the flavor, but more just because the overload of spice just it was a great sensation for him. I'm not sure if it was like he enjoyed the pain of the spice, or maybe, I don't know. Do overly spicy things make you like feel like relaxed like after you've just done a long run? Is, 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 is it akin to like taking some sort of relaxant or relaxative? Well, that just sounds like you're gonna shit yourself. Never mind. I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. Well, do it, man. I mean, just you pull up some curry recipes off of the Google and get to work. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. Well, good for you, man. Yeah. Let me know if you do. I haven't had curry in ages now. And ah, see, I do not like curry, so... Yeah, you can keep that to yourself. Uh, but hey, bartender. Call me Jill. I wanted to apologize. 
Oh, what, what the hell are you apologizing for, man? You put up with me all this time without lashing out. Oh, well. <laughs> Within the game, yes. In the real world, no. I lashed out at you constantly. Every time you came to the bar with the exception of the last one and this time. Although that could change. Uh, I should apologize for my behavior and thank you for that. D don't worry, I actually feel like I was too rude to you the last time you came. I don't think you can be. I don't think there's a threshold for the level of rudeness one can display to this guy. Granted, you did come at a really bad time, but I should be the one apologizing. You're a client after all. Well, don't. I'm actually surprised nobody else had violently lashed out at me yet. Verbally, I think I did. I mean, I don't recall everything that I said, but I know I wasn't nice. I can recall that much. You're making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Virgilio even your... Virgilio even your real name? It might be, it might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities and sordid pasts. Jill, or Gil, Jamie, you. Um, did you say something? Eh, just rambling. Pay me no mind. Now that I think about it, how did you find this bar? I was avoiding some chips and came to this alley. Huh, again. Again? In my time here, I've heard avoided people and ended up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar thinking about the runaway public. You make me sound like a criminal. I mean, you're not helping. The expression runaway doesn't just mean people escaping the law, though. We bad people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I mean, I've seen people more shocked by an insistent, insistent salesman than a shady figure. Maybe because a salesman's more of an active predator. I don't know. Troublesome part of the city right near the shopping district. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself so much. I don't mind it. Do you think I'm sort of... I'm, do you think I'm sort of criminal, though? Well, like I said, you're not helping. But for all I know, you might be the buffoon I've seen the other days. In any case, can I get something bitter here? On it! Now you want something bitter, huh? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, gut punch? Oh, there we go. That's the one. Yes. Haha. <laughs> Finally, my hour is at hand. Load it with as much as possible. I don't know how well you hold your liquor for Gilio, but we are going to test those boundaries tonight. Well, that's all? All right. Ha ha! Punch you in the gut, and there's a hell of a lot to hit. Why am I being mean? He's actually kind of nice this time. I should really... Nah, that's just me. My defenses are up. This works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? Oh, well, I will, I will speak for Jill on this. Mm -hmm. I love coffee. I love coffee all time. All day, every day. I like coffee in the morning, I like coffee in the afternoon, I like coffee at night. If there weren't detrimental side effects to drinking too much of it, it's all I would drink, to be frank, and I've done that before. Made my hands twitch, my eyes twitch, my whole body twitch. And it kind of made me sweat a little bit. That's when you know you've gone too far, kids, so you shouldn't do that. Hit, for me, that was four to five shots of espresso in coffee to make an Americano. There's this neat little coffee shop near where I live, and on your birthday, they'll make you whatever you want, however much you want. Sky's the limit. And boy, was that a mistake when I'm around, because I'll test those limits. Anyway, point being, I love coffee. Jill, you must love coffee, too. As weird as it may sound from a smoking bartender, no, I don't. You traitor. <laughs> yeah, you smoke your cigarettes, but you won't have coffee. Yeef. <laughs> I get it. It's not for everyone. Yeah, it should be. When I am God Emperor, coffee will be mandatory for all citizens. Those who do not wish to partake shall be relegated to the steeped tea salt mines. There'll be a thing. Just wait for it. The, 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 the new regime is coming. Uh, that bandage girl that came here last time. What about her? I feel like I've met her before. I've been thinking a lot, but I can't put my finger on it. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. I mean, answers usually come to you when you stop stressing out. You might be right. Well, I'll leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. That's the most genial that man has ever been. And I think it has something to do with the overly friendly tones emanating from the television screen. Just look at that. That is a face that says, be nice. 
and possibly banishes demons from the Negaverse. But enough about that. Welcome to Valhalla. Who's next? Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. You again? All oh, right, you were tracking down vampires. Yeah, yeah, you were after Dracula's daughter, right? It was something like that, some nano nanite vampire with blood that makes people dissolve. I remember bits and pieces. I'm probably butchering it, but hey, wh can I click on any of these? Probably haven't tried quite as. Di do do do. Nope, nothing. All right then. Well, we're gonna drop it here before old Art gets into his whole thing. And I don't quite remember what his voice sounds like either, so <laughs> might go back and check that at the same time. I don't know. But hope you guys enjoyed this one. I looked it up, and I think the third chapter is the last part, so we may be coming to the end of Valhalla. I, I hope so, not because I'm getting tired of the game. Although I would like to move on to other things and let this lie for a little while. But I just want to see how the story is going to culminate. What's it going to mean for Jill and friends? We'll have to find out. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. And until next time, my name's Rai. You guys take care of yourselves.